In this video, I'm going to show you how you do slow motion on a Nikon DSLR. So to pretty much shoot slow motion on a Nikon D5200, 5000 or 3000 series, it's pretty simple. Menu, and you just go to shooting menu, all the way down, movie settings, and all you're essentially looking for is 60 frames per second. If it shoots anything more than 60 frames, then you can slow it down. And if you're lucky like me, you get to shoot 60 frames in 60, 2080 by 720. And that is how I shoot my slow motions. And you don't want to go for interlaced. You want to go for anything 60 frames or 20, 24 frames and above. 30 frames, not so much slow motion. You want the most optimal is anything that's 60p frames per second and above. So essentially what you do is you click that, click OK. Now you're shooting at 60 frames per second. It should say there, 60 frames. And now you notice your shutter speed is 1 over 60th. is the lowest it doesn't go now versus 1 over 30. And now you're shooting at 60 frames per second. As you can see here, here itself is not like in slow motion because it's actually going to be faster, double the speed. So it's capturing 60 frames per second instead of 24 frames now. And essentially how you shoot slow motion on Nikon is you need to go in post-production and edit this. And I'll show you that in the next step. So pretty much like I promised, what you need to do is you go back into your project folder and you need to find the clip that's in 60 frames per second. And if you have a bunch of clips, you don't know which one, you just click on this list view and it will tell you which frame rates. Click on the top and in order to find that one that is labeled at DC01. And all you really need to do is right click on it, modify, interpret footage. And this is assuming your timeline over here is set to 23.976 frames per second. So it automatically it plays it at 60 frames per second the clip so you won't get that initial slow motion effect it will actually play as is if I actually drag it into the timeline and of course it's not scaled and if you're lucky like me and uh, you have a Nikon D5200 you have to scale it to 150 or 151 and as you can see here it's not in slow motion, you, it's just really fast. So what you need to do is you find that clip, right click it, interpret footage, and the key here is to click assume this frame rate, not at one frame per second, but you wanna punch in 23.976 frames per second, okay. And then if you go back here, you double click it and you go to your source monitor, you actually see that this is actually in slow motion now. So you drag that in and you can also hear by the voice that it's in slow motion. And now you know how to make a Nikon footage slow motion. So when it comes to having slow motion clips, the whole point of having slow motion is to emphasize a point, emphasize some kind of scene, or make a journey of a character much more cinematic. It makes any video you take normal into normal speed into slow motion. And this is especially true when it comes to cooking videos and a chef cooking his food and plating. That is when slow motion is, I almost guarantee, a lot of cooking shows like Chef's Table News slow motion. Slow motion is also used a lot in for things like modeling showcases. So if you're a model going down, you know, the typical stereotypical beach scene running down the beach or like combing through their hair, that is where slow motion is to take place. It demonstrates some sort of emphasis on a story. But just like anything, you don't want to overdo slow motion. Slow motion too much, just like anything, can horribly ruin a video. So use it, but don't overdo it. Use it when you need to emphasize something. But for me, I like to use it once in a while, but if you use it all the time, it just gets a little tacky. And my name is Peter, and that is how I shoot slow motion clips on a Nikon D5200, 
5300, 5500, or any Nikon or just any camera in general, a DSLR. My name is Peter, and we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. <laughs>